Governor Abbott's announcement about calling another special legislative session doesn't come as a big surprise. Now we're hearing something more specific from the governor. It will happen next month. Fox 4's Alex Boyer live in Dallas with details. Hi, Alex. Hi, Clarice. And you know, this uh, focus will be one of the most hard fought issues uh, here in Texas, whether or not taxpayer dollars can be used in order to pay for tuition at private schools in the form of vouchers. Abbott, meanwhile, is calling on religious leaders to help support his legislation. Religious leaders are not in business to support the state. Reverend Dr. George Mason served more than three decades as senior pastor of Wilshire Baptist Church. He now serves with a ministry called Pastors for Texas Children. It's not only about my kids, it's about your kids, it's about my neighbor's kids. He's speaking out against Texas Governor Greg Abbott's call for pastors to support school choice vouchers. During a recent Teletown Hall, Abbott declared Sunday, October 15th, School Choice Sunday, calling on pastors to support the legislation during worship services. Mason calls it a, quote, cynical strategy. We are not there to be cheerleaders for political parties or any partisan positions. But at least one influential pastor says he intends to publicly support the legislation, Dr. Robert Jeffress of First Baptist Dallas. In a statement to Fox 4 News, Jeffress said in part, I was on a phone call with a number of Texas pastors voicing support for school choice. He's really got two options. Matthew Wilson is a political scientist who teaches at SMU. He's not surprised Abbott would use this tactic to try and get school vouchers passed during the upcoming special session, being that the governor appears to lack support from rural Republicans whose districts don't tend to have many private school options. I think that uh, this clearly reflects the governor's emphasis on the evangelical constituency in getting this done. The problematic element is how closely it is associated with the governor himself. So it's one thing for churches to speak out on a policy issue. It gets dicier if they're speaking out in favor of a particular candidate or a particular party. Pastor Mason added this point. Anytime you do that, you actually weaken your own sense of conviction, your own uh, religious tradition, uh, because uh, you, you are giving away power in doing so. And Governor Abbott has said if the legislature can't be convinced to ultimately pass a voucher program, he says that he will seek to put the issue on a statewide ballot to let the voters decide.